Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, the Minister for Finance, Budget, and National Planning, says under recovery of Premier Motor Spirit, popularly referred to as fuel subsidy, will gulp 450 billion naira in 2020. She said this in Abuja at the public presentation of the 2020 budget proposals. Ahmed said it was called under recovery because it was the cost of operation of the Natural National Petroleum Corporation. The 2020 budget is based on an oil production estimate of 2.18 million barrels per day, oil price benchmark of $57 per barrel, and an exchange rate of 305 naira to a dollar. Ahmed said that recurrent spending was expected to rise by 11.28% from 4.39 trillion naira in 2019 to 4.88 trillion naira in 2020. This, she said, will reflect in salaries and pensions, including provisions for implementation of the new minimum wage. Uh, we have a provision for under-recovery of PMS in the sum of 450 billion. If you look at the budget office website, this is in the fiscal framework, which is an annexure to the budget. So there's 450 billion provided. The 2020 budget is set on a crude oil production of 2.18 million barrels per day. The crude oil price is set at $57 per barrel, and this is as approved by the National Assembly in the MTEP for 2020 to 2022. Exchange rate remains flat at $305 to, uh, Naira to the dollar. We are projecting an inflation rate year close 2020 of 10.81%. The nominal GDP of 122.75 trillion Naira and, and uh, nominal consumption, I beg your pardon, and then a nominal GDP of 142.96 trillion Naira. We project 2020 to close with a growth rate of 2.93%. For revenue, Ahmed said there were strategic revenue growth initiatives aimed to boost revenue generation to meet targeted revenue to GDP ratio of 15%. She said that the SRGI would be implemented with increased vigor to improve revenue collection and expenditure management, adding that Nigeria must mobilize significant resources to invest in human capital development and critical infrastructure. Indeed, some reforms will be tough, but it must be done if we will look at the facts and be frank with ourselves. However, we will engage the public sector in whatever we do, including any changes in taxes with regards to rates or administrative methods.